Hello, I am the narrator, and before this episode begins, George George will be talking about a very little creature that might surprise you some of the things you find out. Without further ado, let the show begin. Good morning, everybody. My name is George George, and today we're going to be learning about Barnacles. Information about the animal and what it looks like. You may know that barnacles um, love to form on boats and are very, very hard to get off. Well, because of this, they have gotten a nickname known as Krusty Fowlers, George. The crusty fowlers. And as babies, these barnacles are called zooplankton when traveling. Now, quote uh, Newborn barnacles emerge from their parents' shell as one eyed larvae. Barnacles are also one of the very few creatures that never stop growing. Um, and we get to more on that a little bit later. Um, if you take a look at it, you can see that it's mostly just the shell that you see with the barnacles. Um, with this very solid shell that has about six layers to it. And not all of it's solid. You can see there at the top, they have like, uh, shell pieces that move like a little flap or open and closing a box so that it allows it to eat. Um, most of the time these shells, uh, have some kind of shade of white black. Where they live, how long they live, and how do they get their food? Believe it or not, barnacles um, like to travel and they are one of the very few that do. Quote, uh, moving objects like boats and ship hulls and whales are particularly vulnerable to the pesky critters. End quote. Barnacles also have a tongue-like thing, uh, which is called a cirrus. Thank you, a cirrus, um, which comes in and out of the top of the barnacle. What they eat, and what are their predators? Yeah. Its scientific name. The crusty fowler um, only eats microscopic organisms like plankton. And the barnacle's scientific name is. Cirripedia. Oh, thank you. Cirripedia. Its mating habits and some random facts. Now, I want you to pay attention for just a little bit right here. Now, animals are either male or female. You know, like all cases. Well, not for barnacles. You see, they are what's known as... It's hermaphrodite. Thank you. Hermaphrodite. Which means that they can be ba uh, both male and female at the same time. Now, I know what you're thinking. A. Do they have to still mate with each other, or can they do it by themselves? Where was I going with this? Still need partners. Right. Well, they actually do still need a partner. Another thing is that you know very well that barnacles like to grow and build up on ships. Well, believe it or not, if there are in fact enough barnacles on a ship, it can cause drag. Quote. Um, the US Navy estimates that heavy barnacle growth on ships increased weight and drag by as much as 60%. 
resulting in as much as 40% increase in, f in fuel consumption. Um, and then according to barnacles, they, uh, the, the creatures are actually supposedly on their heads, suctioned to the surface, and then their bum is the outside, or the top of the barnacle. The difference between male and female, and what is it related to? According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, barnacles are in fact related to shrimps, crabs, and lobsters. Questions. Now here is the main main event. We have questions. Precisely two. Which I know you've all been waiting for. Okay, so now there is a possibility that you might be thinking. Um how on earth do barnacles stick on surfaces? I want to throw this paper, but I can't. Well, it's actually a very good question. You see, it's actually a form of glue that is at work, not some kind of suction cup. Quote, They secrete a fast-curing cement that is among the most powerful natural glues known, with a tensile strength of about 5,000 pounds per square inch, and an adhesive strength of 22 to 60 pounds per square inch. But that is not all. Another quote. This glue is so strong that barnacle's combs base is left behind long after the creature has died. Which is extremely strong based that it can fight the currents for years or however long it lasts. There's another question. How do they continue to grow all the time if their shell does not? Well, that is a good question as well. You see, the shell is very solid. It doesn't morph or form or adjust or anything. It's very solid and hard. It's like an actual cement or something. Well, that is a good question. Well, scientists are not 100% sure how they do it, but a theory, a working theory, is that they somehow melt the inner layers of the cone, the shell, while growing outer layers. So that it is constantly getting thicker and thinner as it grows. So that the shell moves out, but they're not exposed. That makes sense. And with that, that is unfortunately the end of the episode. If you are fascinated by barnacles, there are links in the description that go more into detail about all of the information I found and told you about. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Good night. This is the end of the video, end of the video, end of the video. Beam, beam. End of the video, end of the video. Do this is the end of the video. Beam, beam. Beam, beam. Beam, beam. End of the video, end of the video, end of the video. Oh, oh.